This video shows how a cross-country flight in the Alps ends up as an outlanding. The flight starts at the German Alpine Gliding School in Untervossen in Bavaria and heads south into the Austrian Alps. The weather conditions were marginal for cross-country flying. I took off in a group with two other gliders and we hoped to make it out of the Alpine foothills and get deeper into the Alps where the weather was more favourable. Northly winds all week had been creating a fern effect on the alpine foothills, low clouds and not a lot of sun on the ground. The previous day was also a marginal one where I ended up landing out, fortunately at an airfield. So I was already primed to be flying in survival mode. After the aero tow we met up and searched for the first climb of the day. The climb was weak as expected but after we reached the cloud base we headed south. We arrived at the Steinplatte mountain quite a bit lower than the peak and searched for a climb. On a good day, the Steinplatte is a reliable stepping stone into the Alps, but today with almost overcast sky, the air is calm. There is a very light valley wind passing through the valley to the east and some of the west facing ridges are teasing with some weak bumps, but nothing usable. The valley to the south has many good field landing options, so we use this as our anchor while we search for a climb in the area. I'm interested to know where you would have searched, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, just to your 8 o'clock high. Very nice. Um, all right. Uh, 6, 3 o'clock, uh, next to the street. This far off landing here, once uh, we uh, face every three of them on here. Um, yeah, I think because of our performance at the uh, double digger, we will uh, land first and then we will see. Understood. Good one. 
I like to do my landing checks fairly early, but I typically wait to extend the gear to the point where I mentally transition fully into landing mode. I'm looking for any last chance thermals in the downwind, ensuring I maintain a good margin to reach my chosen field. I'm judging heights and distances and wind visually now since I pack my flight computer away for landing. Even though it is a great looking field, you never really know how bumpy it will be until touching down and I prefer not to test the strength of my magnetic mount the hard way. It's also one less distraction from being focused on positioning for a safe out landing and being able to concentrate on the seat of the pants feeling for any last chance climbs. The remaining part of the flight is shown in real time. I'm 200 meters above the outlanding field and you can see there is plenty of time to get into position for landing while still taking a chance to find a climb. From this altitude, I'm mentally plotting a path to reach the final approach to my field and looking for features on the ground along that path that might be a source of heat or where the sun has recently been shining. Sometimes I'm also just looking for areas not to fly, like damp ground. Modern gliders like the LS4 have great performance and I can afford to set myself up for a nice long final. This slows down the pace of the entire procedure and makes everything a lot less stressful than if I would make a very short circuit close into the field. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll see each other again soon. 